What's up guys, my name is Darius P and welcome back to another NBA 2K16 Tips video. In this video, we're going over the pick and roll, so let's get right to it. To call a simple pick and roll, just press the L1 or the LB button and hold it until you see that right there come up. And then you can let it go and you can run uh, you run the pick and roll like so. Again, it is L1 on PlayStation and LB if you're playing on Xbox. Now, another thing, as you see me going to pick and roll, don't do this. You don't want to call a pick and roll way back here. Well, even if you do, don't do this. Don't go to the side like that. Because if you go to the side like that, the defender is going to slip over that uh, pick and roll every single time. Well, most of the time they are. Well, even then I did it. I did it right. What you want to do is when you call it, you want to go at an angle toward the screener. You want to go toward the screener like that. So you can actually run your defender and to the screen. Just like that. That's an open jump shot right there. Now if you want your screen to go to the other side, after you press L1, what you would do is, well I did it wrong right there. You actually have to hold it. Hold L1 or LB. When the guy come up, you press R2 or the right trigger if you're playing on Xbox, and your guy will go to the other side. So say if you over here, and you call for the screen, and you notice that guy's on the wrong side, you can switch it real quick, and then you can run a, uh, run a pick and roll just like that. Now, as you can see, DeAndre Jordan, it says roll right beside uh, R1. If you want to switch that to a fade, what you do is you would press R1 on PlayStation, and as RB, if you're playing on this box, and now your guy will fade. As you see, he didn't roll to the basket, he just tried to fade to an open spot on the court. Now, of course, we would never want to run that with DeAndre Jordan. So, we would want to run it. Maybe we got Paul Pierce, or we got or we got JJ Riddick over to my left. But if I want to run a screen to somebody else besides the, the big man, without a press, I'll press L1 or LB on Xbox and bring the icons up and then you will hold you will hold a corresponding icon of the character that you want to run the screen so let's run one with Paul Pierce so I press L1 then I'll press square and I can have Paul Pierce come set me a screen and I can also switch it for him to roll it to the other side go to the other side and I can also press R1 to make him fade split the screen these little noobs I need to take this off Hall of Fame while I'm practicing. <laughs> Just go score a quick basket. Of course, the Rockets want to score a basket. But again, man, you press L1 or LB, and then you hold the corresponding icon of the character that you want to come and set the screen for you. In this case, it's JJ Riddick. I can press R1 to make him fade. He's going to fade. He's not going to go to the rim. That is an open, open jump shot right there. Again, man, don't do this. Don't do that. The guy has too much time to get back in front of you or he can just get there really, really easy. What you want to do is you want to go toward the defender just like that. Okay, let's move on. Say if I got Blake Griffin. Now, sometimes you want Blake Griffin to, uh, to fade back, but most of the time you want him to roll to the basket. If you want him to roll earlier, when I call the screen, just press the screen button again and you can make him roll whenever you want to, but it has to be before the guy that's checking you hit the, uh, hit the screen, before they make contact. So I gotta do it before this. I gotta do it before that, so I can make him actually uh, roll to the basket whenever I want to. So again, I'll have to hold the screen button and then press it again and make that guy go to the basket. Again, if you was doing this, say I would do this with Paul Pierce, Paul Pierce comes for the screen, I can't press square again. I can't do that. You can't, you can't do that again, man. Let me get the ball back to Chris Paul. You have still have to press L1 to make that guy slip the screen. Slip the screen just like that. This is how you run a pick and roll, man. If ran to perfection, the game can be so much easier for you. I mean, running the pick and roll, pick and fade. Who should have pick and fade? I go to it. Look at this. Wide open jump shot. Took too long. Took too long to call it right there. But as you can see, man, 
it can be real deadly if ran it right. This is just a quick tips video on how you can get better at running the pick and roll. See if I can get this lob with Blake Griffin if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. My name is Darius P. Thanks for watching.